This shade looks really good. Okay, this matches me perfectly. It's definitely for a certain person. We got a new foundation and this is new to me. I don't know if you've tried this, you comment and let me know. This is the Beauty Blender 12 Hour Always on Radiant Skin Tint with Hyaluronic Acid and Niacinamide, okay? It's $29 at Sephora and I'm looking online right now. Light coverage, natural finish, 12 hour wear, radiant. Oh God, radiant. Right away I'm like, why? You know I don't like radiant, but I just love trying out different foundations for dark skin. So let's see what's going on. I only have one. I hope that this is my shade. This is the shade Deep four, it goes up to deep five. So deep four is for deep skin tones with warm undertones. Deep five is deepest skin tones with very warm undertones. And then deep three would have been deep skin tones with olive neutral undertones. But that looks really, really light. So let's see what this one's talking about. We got a dropper. The shade looks good. Let's try. I'm not gonna put any primer on my face. This shade looks really good. What do you think about it? Let me just see what it looks like with my finger. Wow, okay, this matches me perfectly. And you could do this with the finger if you felt so inclined. Are you a finger kind of girl? Let me know. This matches me well. If you know, you know, yeah, it is light coverage. Look, barely even doing anything to my brows, but that's okay, we're gonna use concealer over that area. Okay, let's blend this in for real. Wow, if you have dry skin or just like to look dewy, I can already tell that this would be great for you. This is a skincare makeup product or perhaps makeup skincare product, meaning the benefits of more makeup first. I don't know. I mean, it's got niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in it, so already we know it's giving intense hydration. Okay, so avoiding my eyelids. I don't want that to be wet and oily, right? And then avoiding my hairline because I'm gonna contour. This looks so stinking good. And I have to say for a light coverage product, my skin has come so far because it looks full coverage on me. And we talked about this before. I know it looks crazy. It's not blended in, but let's discuss it. Depending on the blemishes that you have on your skin, the product may or may not look full coverage or light or medium on you. So if I had dark spots on my cheeks, chin, nose, forehead from an acne scar, any kind of scar, then I obviously don't think that this would cover me enough because look at my micro shading, you can still see the actual tattoo that's on my brows, right? So if that were to be a blemish on my cheek, then this would in fact look very light coverage on me. But because my cheeks are clear for the most part, this is looking like full coverage to me. Like, I mean, it's not giving me full matte. Obviously it's full shiny coverage, full dewy coverage, right? That's the whole point of this product. Let's finish up the face and then reassess because I think that this is gonna be great if you have dry skin and or just like to look wet. <laughs> like I look wet right now, you know? And it's definitely for a certain person. This is the Lancome Tanti Dole Concealer in the shade 500. I like this shade a lot. And I like this concealer even more. We are still gonna set the face. I don't care. I don't wanna keep my face looking hydrated like this. It's just not my preference. But of course, if you wanted to stay dewy like this, when you're going through your process, don't use too much powder. You can use your powder lightly wherever you apply your powder, but just don't use too much. But honey, we gonna powder this face, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's still gonna get dewy like through the day because that's the whole point of this, you feel me? Oh, and FYI, the reason why I used a brush to apply it versus a sponge is because I don't wanna shear it out. But if you wanted to shear this out even more, dampen your sponge and then use the sponge to blend out your product. I did a video showing you different examples of that. Make sure you take a look at that for reference. I'm putting some more concealer on. But I don't like to do that. I like to get as full coverage as possible even if the product is a light coverage product like this one. Now this highlight isn't looking so light because this foundation foundation matches me so well. <laughs> so actually, now that I say that, let me go a little bit lighter with this highlight because I want it to show more. This is a Morphe concealer in the shade C4.35. Can you even get this stuff anymore? I haven't checked in a while. And then we're gonna contour with this LYS stick contour. The shade is worthy. Love this, it is very deep. I'm looking at my camera because I'm waiting on my Walmart grocery delivery. <laughs> If you get your groceries delivered, holla at the girl let me know because listen, it's a convenience for me. And I thank the Lord Jesus, okay? And if you don't know, we like to blend this backwards into the hairline. Oh, I mean this edge product that it, I'm putting all over my hair to slick it back just for something different. And it's not laying it down as, as like down as I need it to be. <laughs> 
down, you know? It's not as down as I would prefer it to be. So, well, hmm. Anyway, I digress. Okay, we're blending this into the hairline. Like, it's laying it fine. Let me not, let me not, like, cheat it. It's laying it fine. What's it called? Peach twist, something, something. I'll link it. You know, it's fine, but, like, I need more. I need more today. Just today. Just today. <laughs> I put a head tie on to just help lay this down some more. Now, skin is looking, again, naturally dewy, gorgeous, all the things, if this is what you like. However, I don't. So let's mattify this down a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of the translucent powder from Sephora underneath my eyes because I want to tackle those fine lines right there. And then we're going to do my Huda Beauty Luminous Press Powder. And this is the number 99 brush. I powder my eyelids in my eyebrows too, because I don't want that to be greasy when I do my eyebrows. This is the Black Opal Powder Foundation in the shade Around the Clay. Is it Around the Clay, girl? It is, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of that LL Cool J song. Applying this in all the other areas where I had the highlight. Again, I'm still gonna do powder, but you can, you know, skip all this or go very lightly if you still wanna look really, really hydrated. Now let's further emphasize this contour with Rich 660N in the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. This is the LYS powder brush. This is the Sephora collection micro smooth powder that I'm gonna use with the 80 brush all over my face. This is gonna give light coverage, but still make the skin look really good. I could of course use full coverage powder foundation to go over all this, but this is what I have right next to me. You could of course build this up, like I said, with a full coverage powder foundation, but this is gonna be good too, because already the skin looks Really good. Comment and let me know what you think. Gotta add some more highlight right here. I did down the middle of my nose. This is the Milk Cosmetics highlight in the shade Lit. Try to look at it, it's real small. And I'm using this so that it can blend easier into my skin. I do use my fingers sometimes, but this just cuts out a step and allows it to look more natural as opposed to just placed onto my face. So I'm looking to make sure that the placement is how I want it to be. And already, as you can see, this is highlighted because of the luminous setting powder, okay? I'm in love with this, and it's a Myrix yummy situation in the shade Golden Hours. So good, back of the beauty sponge. And let's get this, ooh, right on the cheek. Listen, an orangey, warm, beautiful color always looks good on brown skin, whether that's a blush or clothing or a lip product, a liquid lipstick, or a cream lipstick. Just if you have brown skin like me, <laughs> you're going to want to use orange. Wear orange often, especially in the summertime. What? Mm -mm. Okay, I did a really easy eyeshadow look using the same micro smooth powder on the top and underneath my eyes. So let's do eyeliner, mascara, and move on to lips. All right, and now onto the lips. I'm gonna use these Urban Decay liquid lipsticks. First on the outside is Once Strangers, and on the inside I'm using Pleased. These liquid lips are interesting because they dry down to more of a satin, and they don't come off easily. Very unique, I like them. I think this looks so cute. I know my face is gonna get dewy during the day. No need to do a wear test when it comes to this. It's very good, I would say. If you have dry skin, you like to look dewy. If you have more mature skin, any, uh, any or all of the three. I like it. I want you to comment below and let me know what you think about this look and about this skin tint. Have you tried it? Do you like it? Let me know. I'm gonna leave two videos. Pick one to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.